So the second movement is um, relatively brief and has a very um, melancholy atmosphere. And uh, then without pause, it, the orchestra sort of works its way to a spot where you're not quite sure what is going to happen. And then it comes crashing in with the, uh, <laughs> the theme of the third movement, which is a very, uh, <laughs> a very exciting, very virtuosic uh, rondo with various episodes. And uh, so the orchestra gives an introduction. And then the violin, kind of an unusual thing, uh, plays a brief cadenza. So after this uh, brief cadenza, the violin introduces the main theme of this movement that keeps coming back. It's uh, very exciting, uh, lots of notes for the violin, lots of fun to play it. Moves along like this, it, quite a clip for some time. And uh, being a rondo, it is um, in between statements of the theme, there are these episodes that are quite varied in character. There is one that is this very uh, robust, kind of almost like a, a, a staggering type of tune. Uh, another wit of which is uh, very lyrical, which is often in a duet form with other members of the orchestra. And then answered. So I think it provides a very nice contrast to so much of the movement, which is really driving and, and virtuosic. After the final one of these episodes, um, the violin once again through a brief solo cadenza moves back into a restatement of this theme um, where instead of going to uh, where one might think it would go, it, uh, it moves into an orchestral interlude which is uh, one of the most famous or infamous for uh, orchestral violinists. Um, thankfully, I don't have to play that part, so I won't demonstrate it because I can't. Uh, but the <laughs> the violins of the orchestra have a really uh, a really fabulous tutti where they uh, they show the audience that uh, anything the solo violin can do, they can do just as well. It's a very exciting part with the the orchestral violins uh, ripping all over their instruments, and uh, then it, it comes to a very exciting coda where uh, the violin and the orchestra pass themes back and forth. The violin plays basically nonstop, and uh, the violin is uh, running around all over the place while the orchestra is mainly playing tunes that you've heard throughout the movement. Uh, so it's all very, very exciting. <laughs> so on. <laughs> Lots of running around like that. It's very exciting and it all builds to this uh, incredible ending that um, I think it's one of the great endings in music. I won't give away the surprise for our listeners, but uh, lots of broken bow hairs and sweat and, uh, and all that. It's quite a spectacle. <laughs> 